Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got an interesting report to share with you, specifically in regards to, well, not one, but two things that happened the very day that Donald Trump was elected. That is November 8th of 2016. So we often know that governments will use certain events as important as they are as a distraction to do workings from behind the scenes. Well, I'm going to show you what happened on election election day that was done behind closed doors, so to speak. One of them um, is pretty bombshell and the other, well, I'll let you decide the information on that, but let's delve in to some of that. All right, so the first thing that I wanna show you here is on technocracy.news. And uh, here's the headline, General Assembly President Outlined Strategy for Stepped Up Implementation of United Nations 2030 Agenda. That is the new name for Agenda 21, which we all know is, well, eerie uh, and pushes a depopulation agenda, pushes breakdown of the family. I've read Agenda 21. I've done a whole series of reports on it. If you've not seen those, you can check them out on my YouTube channel. But this particular event that happened is very important. Here's why. On the very day that President Donald Trump was elected, the UN declared a fast track strategy for the implementation of the sweeping 2030 agenda. What does that mean? Well, here's the thing. When Donald Trump got elected, here is one thing that's happening. and Everybody's paying attention to that. Well, behind closed doors and taking advantage of the election distraction, they want to fast track the United Nations agenda, Agenda 21. And many of you who have read that know that it is never something good. But here's just a quick breakdown. General Assembly President Peter Thompson briefed UN member states today on the implementation of this strategy. And he even got into that 17 point framework, which I am going to show you in the moment. Uh, but it goes on a little bit more to say that he reaffirmed the commitment to the UN uh, when he took oath of office and just saying, hey, look, we're gonna go through with this UN policy, this 17 point framework, uh, and we're gonna stay there. What I find particularly interesting about this report is the fact that they've done it on a day that an anti-globalist, at least that is what Donald Trump is um, being paraded as, someone who is against the new world order, but the same day someone like that rises up, we have them saying, we're gonna fast track this new world order, UN sustainable development plan. What is this plan? Well, again, I've done reports on this, but it's a 17 point strategy and poverty uh, and hunger, ensure healthy lives and promote well being, ensure inclusive and equitable rights for education, active gender equality and empowerment for women and all girls. This is one way, um, you know, the, just all part of, you know, the depopulation depopulation agenda. Now keep in mind, it, there's a lot of good in here with a little bit of bad, and it's not necessarily the goals themselves that are bad, but it is what is contained inside these goals that is concerning. Uh, but you guys can pause this if you want to read through them all, but um, ensure uh, affordable, reliable, modern energy. That's getting rid of certain types of energy uh, and pushing green energy, which is just a, all about changing money hands. That is what the real green agenda is about. And this also includes carbon taxes or um, taxes, taxes on, on, on us, you know, worldwide taxes, these kinds of things are engulfed in the very agendas here. Uh, build resilient infrastructure, reduce in inequality, makes uh, re this one here, uh, I don't wanna get into it too much, but reduce inequality within and among countries. Uh, not only is it that, but a lot of this has that socialism mindset where they want to take from the rich countries, America, Europe, and give them to the poorer country. Spread the wealth around. This is very big inside the 17-point 
projection that they are fast tracking through why are they fast tracking it because somebody like donald trump has risen to power and they don't like it and they did it the day that he got elected and they knew he was getting elected uh now goal 16 promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development pro provide access to justice for all and build effective accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels uh what i want to show you in that particular one and again excuse the screen here uh, is this piece by 2030 these are you have the goal here and then kind of the sub goals uh, but I just want to really brief it because like I said I've gone through these before but it's providing legal identity for all people including birth registrations what does that mean they want to um, have everybody in the world be registered in some way shape or form now will that come mark of the beast style uh, end time technology absolutely it could but they definitely want to have some kind of id for every man woman and child and we could be looking at mark of the beast style stuff again uh very interesting there so there's a little bit of poop in the pie as I like to say. But this is very bombshell to see that they're fast tracking it on the same day that Donald Trump was elected. Now, here's one other thing that happened. Uh, this is an ex um, this is um, uh, from uh, it's a, on the presidential memorandum straight from whitehouse.gov. And I want you to notice the date here, November 8th, 2016. Anything that happens on election day, uh, whether there's good to it or bad to it, I'm going to bring it to your attention because there is distraction. Again, it's a distraction and here's something they'll do under the radar. Uh, continuation, this is something that was already there, of the national emergency with respect to the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Now, this was something, an executive order signed by, I believe, Clinton uh, back in 1994. It was EO 12938, where the president declared a national emergency with respect to the unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security, foreign policy, and economy of the U.S. posed by the proliferation of nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons of mass destruction. It was once again in 1998. Uh, it was issued and changed some of the information on there. And in 2005, it was once again changed up a little bit to improve the status of this proliferation. And now again, here we are, uh, 2016, right before the new president gets sworn in and it is signed again. Uh, what is, and, and it's signed Barack Obama, what is the breakdown on that? Well, the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Look, we don't need weapons of mass destruction. Uh, I do see some good in that, obviously. We don't need that in our country. But like I said, there's always distractions and reasons. So you know, there could be something under the radar that we're not seeing. But what it is, is the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction is a threat to the U.S. and other nations. Uh, the Office of Foreign Assets Control implements and enforces three different kinds of weapons of mass destruction sanctioned programs. These are the three, depending on, you know, what's what particular, like you, we know uranium, not a, not a good thing in respect to WMDs. Uh, violations can include sanctions, can include fines and criminal penalties. Uh, and here's just a little bit of background about it all together and some of the regulations they have on that. But nonetheless, I wanted to bring it to your attention simply because it happened on election day and just let you, you know, think about that and share your two cents and comments on that. But nonetheless, obviously, like I said, we don't need weapons of mass destruction. We do need control on that to some extent, obviously, but we don't want it coming into, say, our Second Amendment rights, which it could creep into eventually, possibly. Uh, but all that to say, lots of stuff going on, but there's two things that happen behind closed doors on Election Day. So there you have it. Things are being done uh, while well, one hand's looking at this, another hand is doing something. The one that concerns me truly the most is the fast tracking of the United Nations Agenda 21. Why? Well, I read it. I know what's inside of it and I know what the ultimate agenda is for that. And that is, you know, new world order that is spreading the wealth around, getting this sort of let's make everybody poor 
So we have a rich ruling class over the top and let's change everybody's money hands. Okay, we make everything green. It's not necessarily for the planet folks. There's so much more to it. Well, we, there is a line to be drawn obviously, but but uh, they want them the money to change hands. So we have certain people in power. And so that's what we're faced with. So Donald Trump's got, I think, a battle on his hands when he gets into the White House. Uh, but nonetheless, I wanted to share these two details with you. Anyhow, if you're not stocked up and ready with food, please, please don't wait. Things could get crazy with Donald Trump in office uh, simply because they don't like him. And they could spark off an economic crisis or a number of other things, war. So make sure you are stocked and ready to go with food. I use foodforliberty.com backslash haven and everything you purchase here goes toward uh, what I do here in order to bring the news and information to you directly. Also, I wanna say, you know, don't forget to say a prayer and thank the Lord for, you know, what's going on with the election and thank you, Lord, that we don't have Hillary Clinton Clinton in charge of this country. So all the glory honor goes to God and uh, Jesus Christ for just what has been playing out. So make sure you say a prayer of thanks to him. Also, if you've not checked out Get the Tea, uh, he's got great detox. And I kid you not, the detox works. I've never seen a detox tea ever worked this, this way and it's called super strength tea. One last one that I want to share you is protovite. This stuff literally has changed my life, my father's life, a couple of my friends life, but it's at havenhealth.com. Havenhealth.com. I'll leave a link below and you can check out the protovite there, but definitely a life changer. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning into my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and this is Lisa Haven signing out.